Hello, I'm continuing the series on improvisational devices to use on hymns, and uh, today I'm going to talk about improvisation. I think one of the greatest things you could do to augment a, and amplify a congregation singing is to change the key of a hymn. However, not to not to use um, interludes because when you when you employ an interlude, it gives the congregation a time not to sing. And any time you discourage them from singing, it's difficult to get them to come back in. However, when you change the key with a simple pivot chord, right at the end of the hymn, it launches them into the next verse and the new key with, um, with more energy than they, they had in the previous verse. I strongly urge you to experiment with this with your congregation and listen closely to them, and you'll see that they will sing more when you change the key without an interlude. So, uh, how do you change the key? Well, the most simple way is to use the, um, um, uh, uh, the third lower than the key you are in. So if we're playing in the key of C, instead of ending with the C chord, you can end with an A flat 7 chord. Because A flat 7 leads to D flat, which is a half step higher. And the same thing with the key of D flat. When you end in the key of D flat, go a third lower and play a C chord, uh, I'm sorry, an A chord, A7. And A7 leads to D, the same thing. When you end with D, instead of playing a D, go a third lower to B flat, and play a B flat seventh chord, and that leads us to E flat. So the song, the hymn, can continually go up a half step. Here's an example. Now one of the things I, I do, I'm very conscious of, is when I transpose the hymns, um, I always look at the hymn, the key I want to end in, and I try never to bring the congregation um, higher than a C or a D. So look for the highest note in the hymn, and try not to, to go over the C or the D, which means a lot of times I have to start the hymn in a key lower than what's written in. If you don't know how to transpose, well, you can either learn, or you can uh, use software such as Finale or there are several free programs online where you can write the notes in and automatically transpose to whatever key you want. Um, I strongly urge you to learn to transpose. I use the number system and if you, um, if, if you have to put it in a key that you're not comfortable with such as B or D flat or A or E or F sharp uh, well, spend a little bit of time practicing so that you can play in those keys. There's no excuse not to, so uh, put the effort in and do it. You owe your congregation to be able to serve them as best you can. Uh, and if that means learning to play in the key of F sharp or the key of B, then so be it. Put the work in. That's what they're paying you for.